Um, good afternoon, guys. So, um, yeah, welcome back to another video of the series. Um, today we are going to be talking about logical operators. Logical operators. Um, logical operators in programming generally is being used to combine two or more relational operators or truth values. So, truth values basically means true and false. Don't forget, they are Boolean values. You can combine two or more Boolean values. Now, the Boolean values might be coming, most times, it comes from a relational operator. And sometimes it might just be coming from a value. So, but today we are going to be dealing with the um, truth values coming either by just supplying the truth values directly or by coming from the relational operators. So, um, let's get into it. So, logical operators. Logical operators. In the last session, the word. Um, I don't know. I prepared this. Okay. That should be some sort of um, type of error. So, um, yeah, three logical operators basically. Um, this is not supposed to be here. Logical, logical operators are used to combine two or more, uh, more truth values. So it might be you can also use it to combine two or more expressions, um, expressions of relational. I don't know how to put this. You can use it to combine two or more or more um, relational. Or I don't know how to pick this, but just get it basically. You can do something like um, like um, two greater than eight and something greater than another thing. So basically, you are combining two relational operators together. So, no, this should be combined. So here are three uh, logical operators that are studied: not and or. These are the three logical operators that we have in um, user basic. So um, we have not, we have and, and we have um, or. So not is for negation, um, and is to see if all the conditionals, uh, all the conditions are true, or is to see if one or more of the conditions are true. So the way you use it is maybe not the conditional. For example, you might do something like not true, that would be false, not false, that would be true. So um, let me draw the truth tables for all this. So um, if using the and, so this is the truth table for the and. Um, if I have um, something like this, the way they draw the truth table. So we have this, so we're going to be working um, um, that's a good drawing. Another one. So this will be true, true, false, false. So just T is for true and F is for false. Then you also have this other colon, which is um true, false. True, false. So, using the and now. Sorry, I'm writing with my mouse. So, true and true. If two con this and it will only return true if the two conditionals that you want to combine together. If both of them are true, then true and true will give you true. Every other one will be false. Every other one will be false. For this AND operator, 
only if the two uh, statements, let me say this one is statement one and this one is statement two. Only if, this, if the two statements are true, that is when and is going to be yielding true for you. So um, true or false, uh, true and false is false. False and true is uh, false. False and false will give you false. So let me change my marker. Okay. So let's talk about the or. So the or. If you come back here, you see that the or is to see if one or more conditions are true. So if one of them is true, then we take it as true. So or. So true uh, or true, one of them is true. So both of them are even true. So what we need is actually one to be true. So this is going to be giving us true. True or false, since one of them is true already, to give us true. So false or true, one of them is true. So we take true. Then false or false, none of them is true. So it's going to be false. So if you look at the way this one is positioned now, you can see that this one, only one is true. For this one, only one is false. Don't you start having the impression that this is the opposite of this, it is not. Just get the way they work. For and to give you true, both uh, operands must yield true. For or to give you true, if one of them is true, then you take it as true. So please don't go and take or as the opposite of and. It is not correct that way. So um, let me come here, and I want to draw the truth table for a uh, knot, or this knot over here. I want to draw the truth table for knot. So um, so true, false. So knot. So not, not true is going to be giving you false. Not false is going to be giving you true, basically. This not, this not that you have here is basically used for negation. This not is basically used for negation. If you check the other ones that we have been working with since, you see that both of them, for, for and to be in operation, they are going to be needing two operands, T, uh, S1 and S2, like two operands to work with. For all to be able to, um, to, to be used, you need two operands to be involved, one statement or the other. The, for the and, one statement and the other. But for this one, you only need just one statement for this not to function. So you can refer to not as a u, unary operator, yes. So as a unary operator, that's what, that's what you call it. The other unary operators that we have is um, plus... Um, where's my plus on this keyboard? Okay, we have plus, we have minus, and we have uh, not. So this plus now, you can do something like, um, you can do something like um, maybe plus seven. And you can also do something like minus five. This works, but you can do something like multiplication seven, or maybe just divided but, no, 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 it cannot work because these are not supposed, these, these are not programmed to be used. Um, they are not meant to be used like that. So you can't just um, use them like that. So back to what we are saying. So this is going to be plus, uh, plus, then this is going to be minus. Then the, uh, this other unary operator now, not. So not true is going to be giving you false. So, and not false is going to be giving you true. So basically that is how, that is how um, this, this ones work. That is how they work. So let me, let me do a bit of illustration for us. So if I have something like um, um, seven um, greater than three. So, and I have another one, maybe, then um, less than 24. So you can see that both of them are true now. Both of them are true. So 10 is less than 24 and 7 is greater than 3. 
So let me come here. Seven greater than three. This is going to be giving me true. Let me run it. You can see it's giving me true over here. So let me bring in the second one. 10 greater than 24. Run. You see, it's also giving me true. Now let me combine the two of them together. 7 greater than 3, 10 greater than 24. So I can now bring in my AND operator. So if I should run this, you can see 7 greater than 3, 10 greater, uh, less than 24. This is true and this is true. So it is returning true. The AND operator is returning true. But let me take away this greater than, for example, and put maybe less than here. So this original will be false. And this will be true. So one of them is true. If I should run this, you see, it is giving me false because one of the two of them is not true. And don't forget, for the end to return true, if all conditions are true, if all conditions are true, then it is going to be returning true. So, um, but um, since one of them is true, let me bring in the all. The all will still tolerate one being false. If both of them are true, are true, and you're using the all operator to combine them together, so it will be giving you true here. But um, oh, not both rather. Uh, and if one of them is true, if one of them is true and the other one is false, using the all operator, it's going to be giving you true here. The all will still tolerate one being wrong. So um, you can see I have true here. Seven is not less than three, or ten less than 24. This is true. This is false. So this is the all operator. If one of them is true, if you, look, if you look at the truth table that we drew here, come back here. This is the all operator over here. Come back. So this is false and this is true. According to the truth table that we have, this is false over here. And this is true over here. This is the all column. So you can see it is going to be yielding true. So that is it. That is it. But if both of them are wrong, say, um, <clears throat> I bring in, sorry about that. If I, this is false and this is also false. If I run this, you see, it's giving me false because the all operator, it won't allow both of them to be false. So there's one other operator. Is it available in VB? Um, Okay, we have this operator XOR. I don't know why it's not here. I'm starting to do my research. Mark. This XOR. Um, this XOR. Okay, I think one have to one must be true and the other one has to be false. So one must be true, while the other one must be false for it to return true. Okay, so the XOR operator, the XOR. So one will be true, the other one will be false for it to return true. So please take notes. So, but if both of them are true or both of them are false, it is going to be giving you um, false here. So um, I think that is that is all to know about the logical operators. So like I would say, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in class using the comment section, please. Um, majority of what I'm teaching you guys, the, the first the first time I, I, I learned, I did VB at all. I told the guys I came to my class. It took me over six weeks for me to learn anything. To, okay, don't say learn anything. For me to write my first program. But, well, I've told you guys, you guys are far smarter than I am. So, <laughs> if somebody like me could actually program, you, will, you have no reason to not be able to program. Trust me. If you're not getting it now, just put some time to it. Everything in this life is hard till the day you learn it. Trust me. Nobody brought this thing from heaven. So thank you very much. Um, I'll see you in my next class. Bye for now.